tonight. The Global Africa Leadership Award goes to a man who has demonstrated unwavering dedication to promoting inclusive development in his homeland, Guyana. Here. We deceive it with self. The problem is us. Now here, fam, we going to say Ghana. Yeah? The problem is, the problem is us, not them. <laughs> Every time a Guyanese goes somewhere, he's introduced as from Ghana. And I'm in Ghana now, and I'm, and I'm introduced as I'm from Guyana. So we are making progress. To fight the people, them, it's the fire. Move this, now move this. They didn't give the, um, they didn't give the people them the off the evil no money, no land. They just come and break the people house down just so. They break up all the blocks, all some new materials the people had. They break up all uh, everything, everything. They have more, more than one people here as, as family people. People want to move forward. They don't want to be dragged into the uncharitable cauldron of venom and toxicity. They want to get on with their lives, to have a house with some land, a car. Their kids are able to get a good education and access jobs and create businesses or farms. People want to move forward. They don't want to be dragged into the uncharitable cauldron of venom and toxicity. They want to get on with their lives, to have a house with some land, a car. Their kids are able to get a good education and access jobs and create businesses or farms. The Global Africa Leadership Award. It acknowledges a leader who has demonstrated exceptional leadership qualities in addressing key challenges, particularly in this case, in protecting his country from an outrageous and a very aggressive attempt at neocolonization. In addition to the protection of his country from unwarranted foreign aggression. Tonight, the Global Africa Leadership Award goes to a man who has demonstrated unwavering dedication to promoting inclusive development in his homeland, Guyana through the One Guyana political philosophy, which seeks to foster unity within his nation. Distinguished invited guests, Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome and applaud the President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana, His Excellency Dr. Mohammed Ifan Ali. Thank you very much. His Excellency, President Dana and his beautiful wife, Excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. For the first time, I am at an international stage and they have not introduced me from Ghana. <laughs> Every time a Guyanese goes somewhere, he's introduced as from Ghana. And I'm in Ghana now and I'm, and I'm introduced as I'm from Guyana. So we are making progress. And I'm, I was told by His Excellency that I'm the last awardee and I have all night to speak. Just a few minutes. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to say how pleased I am to be here. And I accept this award 
on behalf of all our great ancestors who came from Africa and laid their bones on our shores in the name of freedom just to realize human dignity just to achieve freedom from the worst system the world has ever seen that is a system of slavery and I ask all of us to applaud our ancestors and what they have done to create a better world for us I come from a very small country of six different people six different ethnic groups a country that was divided by external forces forces that sought their own selfish interests and use what is the greatest asset of humanity that is our differences our ethnicity as a tool of division but today I am proud to lead a country where the people elected a minority I am from the minority religion of Islam and the people of that country elected me as their president that is where that is how we have grown and I accept this honor as we now seek to emancipate ourselves as Bob Marley said completely from mental slavery and create one system one country one environment in which all the people must prosper in which prosperity must come to every single home and I would not leave the stage without saying this to all of us tonight 40 percent of all the gold reserves in the world is in Africa who set the price for gold 30% of all the mineral reserves is in Africa and 65% of all the arable land is here the next two decades belongs to Africa it is up to ourselves to ensure it happens thank you very much and I accept this on behalf of the people of Ghana. Thank you very much, Your Excellency. Shall we applaud him again? Dr. Mohammed Ifan Ali, the President of the Cooperative Republic of Guyana. Here. We deceive him with self. The problem is us. Not Irfan, we Ghana said Ghana. Yeah? The problem is the problem. Is us not them? Hmm? But I tell you, you know, some people they're glad, you know. They're glad. You never see some people lie down, you pass by the sun, the glad it's at least nine years with this no more. Some people really can punish in this place. And not because of nothing, because we're so you're gonna reap. Right? So I agree with you, Roxanne. Faith without works is dead. You gotta get up. You gotta force it, you gotta get up, you gotta open your mouth, you gotta speak the truth. And you must stand for truth. If you stand for truth, yeah, then you're gonna be standing for Guyana and Guyanese people. You don't gotta be afraid. You believe where you bow down now and you get some little drain and walk today. They're gonna last you for the next 5, 10, 15 years. They're gonna put you in a better place. While you're there doing this drain and walk, you train falling in the same thing and, and, and may I remind everybody of this life this morning this is the same PvP people it's the same on the 20 something years why you think when they come to one man band press conference they don't talk about the 20 something years this go way back from 1960 something and 1970 something come up to 1980 something and then just jump over 92 coming straight down the stop of 2015 why Hmm? When the children go to school, they ain't got nothing to do. They ain't got a teacher. They ain't got nothing in the book. The condition is place. If you see the washroom for the teachers, if you see, if you see what's going on out there. Hmm? So, you know, this morning I'm going to the gym a few better. It's a little, you know, a little Friday morning um, touch and go. But all I come out here to, to say to us, listen, is we got the answer. <laughs> The answer lies in you and lies in me. We gotta get up, number one, 
for too long. Look, years. We as Guyanese people, where there's African Guyanese, Indian Guyanese, Amerindian, and all this kind of nonsense. And we allowing man. Man. Eh? SCB News, this is it. <laughs> Kewaka, I doubt it, you. Right? You got one trillion dollars and more. What are they going to spend? And can't defend it. It's beer camping, it's beer teething money for so what, what is money for? Eh? To fill the pocket and you doubt him. Tell me you waiting for they decide and think. Oh, we're gonna relook at the budget. And we see if we can give you a couple little more hand out some little um hamper or some grants. Yeah, it's past guy these people. And guy, these people we sit down and accept it now. Hmm? If with all this money, you can't get your better life here in, in Guyana. Where do you think you're going to get it? Eh? Guyanese, we sit down here. We face everything. We go to Barbados. Uh, put people in cold room. They send you back. You go to all kinds of different things. And now, the Guyanese people, Guyanese, born Guyanese. I'm talking about them. We're going to get Guyanese birth certificate. Where in the world you just go? You imagine you're in Guyana. You can't even feel like you got a right and so we go to America and feel more privileged. But here, anybody else got privilege except us. Yeah? Well, the night shelter and I visit there. I was told at Vindy this past through them. She buy blind, she do the floor here. But um, um, Verisami got a nasty, stinking attitude. Um, the nurses from the night shelter told me. And um, they're carrying some different people at this night shelter. So they're paying a separate, different attention. In that area, I don't know. SCB News, that's the allegation. That's what was said to me, according to Kim. SCB News, that's what was said, right? And so, um, not, 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 not there. I, Kim, says she from you see, Kim, know the story. Kim, know the story. It does when she's gone up and takes your picture. So, Kim, know the story. Right? We got to pay attention. And let me tell you, you know, I don't know about you, Kim, but when I look at how we just treat our elderly folks, I'm telling you, you know, you get all this being guy, and like you share sorrow and pain, and, 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 and you know what I mean? Fear. We deceive it with self. The problem is us. Not here, fam. We got to say Ghana. Yeah? The problem is, the problem is us, not them. Hmm? But I tell you, you know, some people, they're glad, you know. They're glad. You never see some people lie down. You pass by the house and they're glad. It's at least nine years with this the most. Some people really can punish in this place. And not because of nothing, because we're so you're going to reap. Right? So I agree with you, Roxanne. Faith without works is dead. You gotta get up. You gotta first thing. You gotta get up. You gotta open your mouth. You gotta speak the truth. And you must stand for truth. If you stand for truth, yeah, then you're gonna be standing for Guyana and Guyanese people. You don't gotta be afraid. You believe when you bow down now and you get some little drain and walk today, they're gonna last you for the next 5, 10, 15 years. They're gonna put you in a better place. Why you there doing this drain walk? You trying falling in the same thing and, and, and may I remind everybody of this life this morning. It's the same PvP people. It's the same on the twenty something years. Why you think when they come to one man band press conference, they don't talk about the twenty something years? This go way back from nineteen sixty something and nineteen seventy something. Come up to nineteen eighty something and then just jump over. 92 coming straight down the stop of 2015. Why? Hmm? When the train go to school, they ain't got nothing to do. They ain't got a teacher. They ain't got nothing in the book. The condition is place. If you see the washroom for the teachers, if you see if you see what's going on out there. Hmm? So, you know, this morning I ain't, I'm going to the gym a few better. It's a little, you know, a little Friday morning um, touch and go. But all I come out here to, to say to us, listen, is we got the answer. <laughs> the answer lies in you and it lies in me. We gotta get up number one.
for too long. Look, years. We as Guyanese people, where there's African Guyanese, Indian Guyanese, Amerindian, and all this kind of nonsense, and we allowing man, man, eh? SCB News, this is it. <laughs> Kewaka, I doubt it, you. Right? You got one trillion dollars and more. What are they going to spend? And can't defend it. It's beer camping, it's beer teething money for so what, what is money for? Eh? To fill the pocket and you the out here and tell me you waiting for they decide and think. Oh, we gonna relook at the budget. And we see if we can give you a couple little more handout, some little um hamper or some grants. Yeah, it's past guy, these people. And guy, these people we sit down and accept it now. Hmm? If with all this money, you can't get your better life here in, in Guyana. Where do you think you're going to get it? Eh? Guyanese, we sit down here. We face everything. We go to Barbados. Uh, put people in cold room. They send you back. You go to All kinds of different things. And now, the Guyanese people. Guyanese. Born Guyanese. I'm talking about them. We're going to get Guyanese birth certificate. Where in the world you just go? You imagine you're in Guyana. You can't even feel like you got a right and so we go to America and feel more privileged. But here, anybody else got privilege except us. Yeah? Well, the night shelter I got visit there, I was told at Vindy this past through them. She buy blind, she do the floor here. But um, um, Verisami got a nasty, stinking attitude. Um, the nurses from the night shelter told me. And um, they're carrying some different people at this night shelter. So they're paying a different attention in that area of I don't know, SCB News, that's the allegation, that's what was said to me, according to Kim, SCB News, that's what was said, right, and so, um, not, 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 not there, I, Kim says, if I'm, you see, Kim know the story, Kim know the story, it does when she's going to go up and take your picture, and so Kim know the story, Right? We got to pay attention. And let me tell you, you know, I don't know about you, Kim, but when I look at how we just treat our elderly folks, I'm telling you, you know, you get all this being guy and like you share sorrow and pain and, 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 and you know what I mean? Big up yourself in front. Africa celebrates you. Africa celebrating you for defending everyone in Guyana. Africa is celebrating you for making sure that everything is okay with your country and everyone is inclusive in the progress and in the wealth of Guyana. Everybody benefits in Guyana. Nobody left behind, right? Everybody is going to see this golden era in Guyana. That's what the Honorable Gail Teixeira said. And that's what the president was honored for. But right now in the country, so many persons are crying out. A lot of persons are crying out. Young people crying out. Men are crying out. Women are crying out. We see no benefit. Persons are homeless on the side of the street. Homes destroyed. All because they're building up a new community somewhere or the building up something somewhere else. So now you have to move. And you know, I left disenfranchised in a situation where you can't fend for yourself. You don't know where your children is gonna sleep, where you're gonna get your next meal from. Those are the situations where a lot of persons find themselves in, in a country with the largest growing economy, in a country with a $1 trillion plus budget, persons find themselves homeless destitute at the side of the street but the president is going to do something about it why because he was honored in ghana just a few days ago for the one guyana presidential or governmental ideology where everyone is inclusive let's keep our eyes open let's look and see how the PPP government is going to respond to these protesters, to these citizens, to these persons who are disenfranchised. Will they be treated 
like the untouchables in the care system or will they be treated just like everybody else in Guyana? Allegedly, like the government said that everyone is inclusive, everyone will benefit from the wealth in the country. Then what about these persons here? Will they remain homeless? Will grants be given to them? Will they receive house lots? How long will they be homeless without a place to stay? What do you guys think about this? Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section, guys. What's going on in Guyana? Why a person still suffering like this in a country that is so wealthy and not to mention has so much land to where persons can have a peace for themselves and there'll still be much places uninhabited. Let's have a conversation about this because this is a serious issue. My conclusions are that the Apno AFC and their mother party, the PNC, has never gone through any catharsis so as to find their ideological and programmatic vision for Ghana. They have further supported us a diet for over 50 years of victimology, racial division, fear and fiction and truths, which they cannot extricate themselves from and change course. If you repeat a lie enough, you begin to believe your own lie. And so you cannot extricate yourself and refresh yourself and create a new PNC because you're so steeped in this DNA of violence, of racial division, of fear and fiction and untruths. In fact, Mr. Mr. Speaker, they have descended to such depths that the more the Guyanese people want progress and the more the people respond to the government's programs, housing, grow, grow win, part-time jobs, small business grants, black belly, sheep and roosters, they're going to a tailspin. Not knowing what to do, except to pull out the one card left in the pack. Division. Innuendos about race. And now a new sound bites. The new sound bites of 2024. Contractor capitalist class. And PPPC friends, families, favorites and flatters. They ignore the fact that they're becoming more and more isolated and out of tune with the people and where the people want to see Guyana become. They are going to be, they continue on this path and they're convinced that they're right, they will end up in the dustbin of political parties. People want to move forward. They don't want to be dragged into the unpalatable cauldron of venom and toxicity. They want to get on with their lives, to have a house, with some land, a car, their kids are able to get a good education and access jobs and create businesses or farms, fish or some gainful economic activity. That the women and young women, women and young people are not left out. Over 60% of the gold scholarships are women. 44% of the household recipients are female. Same with small businesses. One of the challenges we've had over the years is the fact that we had a low participation of women in the economic sphere in Ghana. Always, all the ILO reports, all the reports. We are now reaching a point where women are becoming the dominating factor in micro and small businesses and activities. And of course, in the public sector, we already dominate. In the judges, we already dominate. In the magistrates, we already dominate. We're playing catch up after all these years and we shall not slow down until we transform this economy and the people of this country are to live at a high standard of living. Mr. Speaker, this is the golden era of Guyana. After 68 years of independence, we are finally showing our people and the world what Ghana is and what Ghana can become. The people know you on the other side better than you know yourself. They know you, they get you. They got you on their, 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 their radar. They know you, hot air, promises, sound bites and irresponsible behavior. As I said, I have always trusted the wisdom of the Guyanese people and I will continue to do that until the day I die. Mr. Speaker, this is a visible, accessible government to all Guyanese. And my colleagues uh, who spoke before me talked about the community meetings where people put up their requests, put up what they need to get themselves better in life. Whether it is equipment, whether it is uh, support for families or the very poor in the communities. I'm a region four. Red Dex, 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 Red
I'll, I'll, um, I'm coming to find out exactly what happened. I, I heard about the protest. What are you doing? I heard about the protest. So um, you tell me what happened. Where you all from and so forth? Good afternoon, viewers and everybody. We right. from Section C, Cummins Park, so by the squatting area. Right. Yes. Today, why is that work? I get a phone call that police, they're breaking the house. Mm. My house, I spent over 300 and something thousand for bail. I'm currently a second year UG student. Right. Doing accountancy. Still wonder how I'm going to study because the house currently on the floor. Right. Break right down. So we out here protesting because we need justice. We need answer. We need no who sent for the house that break down. And did they, did they inform you prior? No, no, no. no, no. What no. they do, what they do. Yeah. Mark, they come before see it was going a lot we up then give us lap number lap number go cp 58 cp 27 right let form to come right out here at any time we need to process either land or whatsoever they will be right why do the market and behind we it is there to see. It is there to see. Okay. We need it. 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 We need I am the senior I am the ex officer, senior officer at Mr. Calico resident, he chilies bar, and I want to ask him personally yeah. to assist and help me. Now I do want to help them. They come and block down my thing. I got three children in the UFO with a something bad. I don't live with no mother, no father. All I got in this world is three children. We need all I need is just them, brother. That is all I need. We are not here to cause any problem, any conflict, any. We are not here to deal in ignorance. Right. But we are here to deal with things respectably and professionally. Yeah, so but if we can speak to somebody right. who can help us properly today, then dear yeah, we like today. I will be grateful. Yeah, exactly. Where my son sleeping? Where my daughter sleeping? Where my next son sleeping? Yeah. That's what my heart. Yeah, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, I cut off my door yesterday. I can't even walk. Look. Yeah, 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 I want to have the door in black and the walk. What I want to do, I do not want to become a victim to society. I've never believed in thieving and harassing people. But please understand, you're putting me in a tight position. I do not want to become a victim President to society. President said he are here for all. Pressure people out here. All guy in this impression. I don't want to. I want you to start telling me about what happened this morning, please. This morning, Spend 400,000 and want some dead walk my ship. They break down my house, flat down to the ground. Get three train and one granddaughter. We're sleeping tonight. Where is this here? Where is this? Red Road. Red Road. Red Road. Red Road. Red Road. Red Road. Red 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 I don't know if fire people are different. Sure, but the, the force of the children is the fire to turn robbers and thieves. 
I the force of the children in Sophia today. When you go to thieves, they say you don't want to work. They say you don't want to work. Did they, did they say did they say what they want the land for? No, they didn't say what they want. They didn't say 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 they didn't the world right now presently playing blue comments park. You see everybody else. The body, real thing, body, real thing. Rain part, but the rain coming from we. The rain is in on me. What we gonna do now? Now. What we gonna do now? Where we sleeping tonight? You know what I mean? What we eat getting dinner tonight? All we got there, all over, all over my kids, all over. Come on, there was some fight. Come on. Oh, but I know it's the A4 be on reserve, we trespassing, we squatting, you know what I mean? But the thing they do, they come and kiss you everybody. Like if we okay by Latin it up, keep your farm to fill up to come into housing. You give me the insurance so that we could proceed. If they come and say, well, no proceedings on this land, it's private land. Nobody up here would have never gone. So but that's what I'm trying to get at. Uh, we live in there last year from back to uh, September. Mm. They come in at this CO, the, the papers, no lot number, November. They come, they make it three Sundays to catch who now start and who are already in to make sure everybody get a paper and an address. Understand, come right. Come in to house it. Right. Yeah. Why you do that? Then this morning, the door came to the ground away. You remember when you could tell me from day one, you said, you give me the papers, don't consider to continue your proceeding. It is illegal. Don't give me the papers and give me all assurance like, uh, you have to proceed and bail. That does who go on. Right. When we collect the papers, they mark we up, we get all assurance. But Bill, until such time, they will issue outside once you bring all the documents into the That's what they promised me. Now, as you promised me, though, and you come this morning without no fight business. Well, well, they break down the houses. Obviously, they're telling you they're telling you that you can't go back there. So, what are you going to do now? What, 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 that's what we here for, to know what I didn't know what we know. And we know what we need to do. And I tell you, Mr. Travis, and this whole behind me, back. The president of Guyana said that the budget that this is what we are not. It's what every guy needs. All work, all work, every day, 2,000 square miles. He is the everybody in Texas. We want it, you know. We want them to. We want them We want them to. We want them to. We want them to. We We want them to. 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 Your birthday will come and bear your birthday. Your birthday will. You got sex, so. You got sex, buddy. You got sex, And if you do everything there, all of the materials that everybody out there, that's on you. And then you got to the damage. Like you sing this brand new what? You sing this brand new blood for it? Come on, if we didn't return it. Then you would hear, oh, them is so far right. No, we loud it. We cooperate, comply. No, we complain. So you, we're coming to you live from Brick Dam in front of the Ministry of, of Housing. Uh, you see heavily armed police, they're standing guard um, to keep the protesters at bay. Uh, we are informed that some homes at um, Sophia were broken down this morning after they were given notices by the Ministry of Housing. Let me 
business. You are here to fight the people, them, and the fire. Move this, now move this. They didn't give the people, them, 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 the people, Somebody is not able to interact with the constituents and make sure that their needs are being met. At least at the ground level, the basics, the basic amenities that government are supposed to make sure that the constituents can enjoy. That can't be real. One person saying this, and then so many other people living a completely different reality. And now I know hinterland part in the country. Now I know rural part of the country. But in the capital city, that's how persons are experiencing life. It's not like the government don't know about this and what's going on. This issue right here probably got hundreds of thousands of views by now. And guess what? Guyana? Right now, persons inside of the country is under a million, which means a large percentage of persons on average would have known about this matter by now. So this must have gotten to the ears of some minister or some politician. What's going on? Why are these people always, persons in Sophia somehow always get the wrong side of the stick? and somehow always seem to have the hardships, no road, no this, no that, all the time, always, even with a trillion dollar budget, they're the ones that decided the street crime foul. But then this is the golden era of Guyana and everyone will see what Guyana will do. And we're moving forward and the money is more than needed for the budget and for infrastructural growth. So these persons are not part of the infrastructure. They don't need a part of that wealth, a part of that inheritance that they're entitled to because they're Guyanese like everybody else. What's going on here? Why? Why? A small word, but with so much needed, so much information called for. What's going on in Sophia? Why are persons' homes being destroyed without them being compensated in a rich country like Guyana, in a country that is wealthy, one of the most wealthiest countries per capita? Who's telling the truth? Is it the persons in the street crying out or is it the minister on the podium giving her speech? And her perspective of how the one trillion dollar plus will be used to benefit all Guyana in the golden era of Guyana. So many persons are still crying out and saying, we don't see the benefit, we don't see it. What's going on? Let's have a conversation about this in the comment section. Thanks again for watching. Verb, well crafted, sea moss gummies, nutritious, delicious, superfoods. What's your favorite flavor?